Now, if you have an interest in giving back to the African continent, you may be interested in my next guest, Chaka Bas, who is the founder of I Heart Africa, an organisation which raises awareness on issues people from the continent are facing using social media. So to find out more, I caught up with Chaka Bas earlier today. Thanks for coming to Vox Africa. No problem. My first question is, what made you want to start up I Heart Africa? I did some research into uh, the poorest countries in the world. I was looking at the poorest countries in the world and uh, I saw that most of them were in Africa or many of them were in Africa and I felt as a man of African diaspora I have literally done nothing for the continent of Africa though I am from there obviously after transatlantic chattel slavery and all of that because I was born yeah. in Barbados so I thought I'd see what I could do to help. Go back to your roots right? Exactly, exactly. And how long have you been running your organisation? Um, so it started about, well I'd say the actual organisation started three months ago but I did a, a boxing match earlier this year and we raised over uh, £11,000 to keep an orphanage in Congo open and so that's kind of it's where it started, its conception. Are you finding that more youngsters of African descent are wanting to go back to their roots like yourselves and helping out in projects like I Heart Africa? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there are many, many people who feel that uh, the countries that they have uh, ended up in don't represent them and they don't feel at home there. And so uh, there are many people who are essentially dislocated from uh, Africa and their roots. And so they're looking to find out you know, why they're here, where their ancestry is, and also uh, a deeper meaning, I think. And what countries in Africa are you targeting? Um, so at the moment we are working in uh, DRC and um, we are going to start a project next year in uh, Ethiopia. So at the moment it's, uh, we're starting off small and making sure that it's done right rather than trying to you know, get loads of attention and loads of uh, uh, money from loads and loads of people and then not really do anything productive with it. Right, I noticed you have loads of followers, even I follow you before mm. even meeting you, you know, I didn't know. Um, so. How important has social media become in today's society, especially regarding you know, projects like yours? Um, I think it's essential at the moment because uh, if you look at you know, uh, hundreds of years ago, you would have had to know the editor of um, a newspaper in order to get your information out. And if you weren't friends with the editor or somebody who knew that person, you wouldn't be able to get information out. And then you would have to know the publisher of a TV station when TV came out. Now you can, we are our own media, so we can uh, create our own um, um, connections with people from all around the world, and it's instantaneous. And I think it's a real, uh, a real beautiful thing for people who have always got a particular narrative and now it's for us to be able to create our own narrative and uh, discover the things that you know we always knew but were hidden from us due to the misinformation because of uh, you know sh uh, profit margins for shareholders. As we know there are lots of NGOs that work on the African continent mm -hmm. so how different is I Heart Africa for example? Well uh, essentially I mean there was no charity in uh, in Africa when it was being colonized by uh, various uh, Western countries and so uh, now there is nearly charity in every single country and the country's uh, governments rely on the Western aid donation uh, as as much if not more than the people so they're not accountable to the people so it, it, it allows this corruption but it's also a, a, uh, it's a corruption but it's a corruption myth because in order to be corrupt you have to conspire with people who are also corrupt so the Western governments are no less corrupt than the African governments that they're working with but what that does is it leaves the people without um, without resources and the resources are there but they're being taken from there and then you have the IMF and the World Bank and all these different uh, essentially predator companies that are stealing taken from Africa and never giving back so the point of I Heart Africa is to take wealth from the West and take it back to Africa where it was created in, in, in its first place are you hosting any events soon to help with I Heart Africa? Uh, actually, we have a, a boxing match tomorrow oh, night. Um, it is tomorrow night. It is at the Irish Centre, Camden Square, mm -hmm. and uh, all the proceeds are going to uh, build our own orphanage. We've been uh, refurbishing a medical centre called the Meteba Medical Centre in uh, Ngaba. So far, we've we've sold. I think we've sold like 75% of the tickets. So there's still tickets if people want to come, and all the people who are boxing. Uh, um, 
young people such as myself who are interested in uh, people of diaspora, people from uh, Europe who are interested in helping and doing the best that they can for the people in Congo. Great. Chaka Bas, thank you very much. Blessed.